Well, it's finally here. We finally got info on the mid-year GTA Online update, as well as, surprisingly, an update on Red Dead Online's future, as well as a tiny little update on GTA 6's development. Rockstar released an entire Newswire post giving us info on everything, and I'm gonna break it down, giving you the info you need to know, and sort of cutting out a lot of the mumbo-jumbo wordplay that Rockstar uses in here. If you enjoy this video, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this. And let's go. So to start off the Newswire, Rockstar, well, they tweeted this. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone in the community for their unmatched enthusiasm and support. And here's what's coming in the summer and beyond. Don't really know what enthusiasm and support they're referring to, maybe in regards to the Save Red Dead Online movement, but let's get into the Newswire. They start off by thanking everyone for buying the game again on next-gen consoles. Then they say in just a few short weeks, a new update is coming to GTA Online on all platforms. So that's good for you guys playing on the last-gen consoles still. This update is going to expand upon the criminal careers of executive, biker, gun runner, and nightclub owner. So pretty much all of the businesses are getting somewhat of an expansion. This could potentially be very, very cool. But what type of expansions are we going to get? That's going to be the make or break factor is it gonna be like just an extra sell mission or are we gonna get like entirely new businesses new opportunities new things to do we'll have to wait and see we're also gonna be getting a new set of contact missions that present the opportunity to be sworn in as a special IAA field operative to investigate a budding criminal conspiracy now this is kind of interesting the make or break factor for these ones is probably going to be the payouts because whenever Rockstar adds missions in or whenever they have in the past, the payout has been kind of bad. So any new adversary modes or contact missions have been completely useless. From the description here, it seems like this could be kind of fun. So yeah, the make or break factor will be the payouts. We'll have to wait and see. Now, I'm just reading this again, and man, I'm smiling. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but these are some awesome, awesome quality of life changes that are coming to the game right now. Rockstar is going to be reducing the effectiveness of the homing missiles and countermeasures on the Oppressor Mark II. How long have we been asking for this? I don't know, but man, how good is this? I don't quite know what they mean by reducing the effectiveness. Maybe the tracking won't be as good, which probably should have happened years ago. Or maybe you just can't lock on to other players. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see, but this is awesome news. Also, Rockstar will be making it easier to use snacks and armor. Thank you. Dark Viper AU, Matt, how you feeling, bro? This is awesome news. As it stands right now, you need to press like 15 buttons just to heal yourself in the game. So that's going to be getting reworked, which man, what an overdue, overweighted, whatever the word is. We've needed this for a long time and man, I'm happy it's coming. But maybe the best change of all of them. You can now launch sell missions for your businesses in invite only sessions. Round of applause. Rockstar, round of applause. This is something we've needed for years as well. And these are three huge, huge changes that is going to make everyone really happy. Rockstar then says they're going to be continuing to incorporate more player feedback and other learnings moving forward, which I mean, I hope is the case. These changes kind of took like six years to get them in place. So hopefully going forward, we can get these changes a bit faster, but better late than never. So thank you, Rockstar, for this. This next section gets me really excited as well. Rockstar is going to be increasing some of the payouts throughout the game. The reasoning for this is something I've been preaching for years. People should be able to make money doing the things they want to do, not just doing Kaya Perico. So as a result, bodyguards, associates, and MC members will see their payouts increase to encourage and reward cooperative play. Rockstar will also be increasing the payouts across a variety of activities, including greater payouts across races, which has definitely been needed, adversary modes, which is also very needed, and select heist finales. So heists are getting a buff. Let's go. When I see the select heist finales, I'm assuming things like the casino and Kaya heist will not be getting any changes, but in a way, they'll probably be getting a little nerf because I'm assuming the other heists will be getting a buff, which in turn kind of makes the Kaya and Diamond Casino heist a little less good, but in a good way. So with this, I'm expecting to see a payout increase on the original five heists, as well as potentially the Doomsday heist, but we'll have to wait and see for that one. 
nonetheless, that's still an awesome change and awesome as well with the races and adversary modes getting a buff. Now, maybe if we could get an increase in payout on the contact missions as well, then this would be absolutely insane. To finish off the GTA Online info, Rockstar says their specially curated seasonal events Bonuses and gifts and all that will be continuing. Not really sure what they mean by the seasonal events. Maybe just like the snow for Christmas and the updates for Halloween. I don't really know, but there was nothing major to begin with. But I guess that's good to know that will be continuing anyway. And now I've got some sad news for you Red Dead Online fans and a little bit of good news for GTA 6 fans. Rockstar has essentially said that they want to thank everyone for their support in the Red Dead Online community. That's with the Save Red Dead Online movement. But they've gone on to say that they're working on GTA 6 and that there will be no more major updates for Red Dead Online. So essentially, they're discontinuing major support for the game. They say, over the past few years, we've been steadily moving more development resources towards the next entry in the GTA series, understanding more than ever the need to exceed players' expectations because of obviously how bad the GTA Trilogy remaster was and how underwhelming expanded and enhanced was. They go on to say, as a result, we are in the process of making some changes to how we support Red Dead Online. They go on to say they're going to be continuing doing the monthly bonus events like they've been doing for Red Dead Online, which people don't really like, but you know. They say we plan to build upon existing modes and add new telegram missions this year rather than delivering major themed content updates like in previous years. Which is basically just a really nice way of saying we're going to give you a few more little updates that you know you might enjoy for a day but our support for this game is gonna be winding down until eventually we stop making content altogether. So Red Dead fans, I know this sucks. Um, I don't really have anything to say that will lift your spirits, but really we knew this was coming. At least Rockstar acknowledged it, I guess. And as for you guys wondering why they're discontinuing support, I mean, just look online at Google Trends or even just the play accounts of Red Dead Online compared to GTA or GTA Online, I should say, let alone GTA 5. I mean, look at the difference in Red Dead Online's interest compared to Grand Theft Auto 5 as a whole. It's night and day and Rockstar is a business at the end of the day. I know this sucks because Red Dead Online had a lot of potential, but the reality is Red Dead Online just doesn't make as much money, like anywhere near as much money as GTA Online and as GTA 6 will. So again, sorry to be the one that breaks this bad news. Don't shoot the messenger. I know this sucks, but I, it is what it is. At least they acknowledged it again. And that's pretty much it. Rockstar just says thank you again and keep the feedback coming. Hopefully they'll listen to it going forward. And let's talk about this GTA Online update a little bit more because you know what? I've just sort of realized that we're not going to be getting much new content. The only new content we're going to be getting is contact missions and potentially expansions to the existing businesses. But it looks like for the first time in a long time, we're not going to be getting a new business. If that's the case, then these changes to the existing businesses need to be really, really good. Because I don't know about you, but I kind of got bored of the contract DLC after like a week. Once you played through the contract like five times, it kind of got a bit boring after that, and it didn't pay as well as Kaya Perigo anyway. So everyone sort of just went back to that to make money. So hopefully, Hopefully, these changes are really good to these businesses, because we need it. GTA Online is kind of getting a bit stale. Obviously, not as stale as Red Dead Online. Okay, guys, I know you're going to flame me in the comments, but, like, I don't know what you want me to do. Still, over six months without an update, the game kind of does start to get a bit dry. As for the release date, Rockstar said over the next few weeks, but what's interesting is this current weekly event week finishes on July 18. So, July 18 is a date I'd keep my eye on. Anyway, we'll wrap it up there. Hopefully, this update's good if you enjoyed a thumbs up would be awesome subscribe for more stuff like this hope you stand safe and i'll see you in the next video boys favorite color money green paper i've been on my grind since i was in the seventh grade seventh, my first kid i was